In this video, we'll find the oxidation number for the iron here in Fe3PO42. The first thing to notice, there's no negative or positive after the compound here. That's because it's a neutral compound and all the oxidation numbers, they're all going to add up to zero. To find the oxidation numbers, we have iron, which is a transition metal. So it can have different oxidation states depending what it's bonded to. So we need to recognize that PO4, this is the phosphate ion and the phosphate ion, the whole thing, has an ionic charge of three minus. We have two phosphate ions. So everything's gonna add up to zero, but for the ion, we can tell that the oxidation numbers are gonna add up to the charge on the ion. So if the charge is three minus, two times three minus, that gives us a minus six. So all of these oxidation numbers add up to minus six. That means the iron, we're gonna have to have a plus two here so that everything will add up to zero. 3 times plus 2, that's plus 6. We have our minus 6 for all of this here. We get this 0 here. So the oxidation number for the iron here in Fe3PO42, that's going to be plus 2. This is considered iron 2 phosphate because of that. If you need to find the oxidation number for the P, the phosphorus in the phosphate ion, there's a link in the description on how to do that. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for the iron in Fe3PO42. Thanks for watching.